Well, summer is right around the corner, but companies are already looking to hire area students for seasonal jobs. And Tamara Coleman with Milwaukee Public Schools joins us now to talk about an upcoming job fair for kids. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. So this is not the first time that MPS has done this job fair. Last year, you all helped uh, 200 students get jobs. Yes, this is the second year MPS has had a student job fair um, and this year we're um, really excited. We've kind of got our feet wet last year and so we're ready for this year for sure. And so the job fair takes place on the 13th, um, but we're talking about it today. Can you yes. kind of walk us through what, what are you hoping that kids will be able to uh, gain from this job fair besides employment? <laughs> Besides employment experience, um, most adults really don't go to job fairs until like they're in college or after high school. So the whole experience, um, we have about 75 employers uh, who will be there ready to hire our students. Uh, we hope them to gain, you know, they'll be talking to strangers and, you know, people they never met before. That experience of them shaking hands and introducing themselves, it definitely builds the self-confidence. Great opportunity for students. I also think what's so cool about this job fair is that this is just one of many steps. You're, you're building a lot of bridges with the business community here right. in Milwaukee. Right, so one of MPS's goal is to um, increase our youth apprenticeships as well as our internships. So we've been really trying to build uh, relationships with our business community to really connect our students before they graduate uh, with um, businesses and uh, internships and youth apprenticeships. And you are the internship coordinator for the district. Why is it so important for students before they graduate to have those internships and kind of get an, an idea of what they want to do? So one is they don't go to college and waste all this money and then decide, <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that anymore. That's a hefty bill. <laughs> yes, that's a hefty bill. And two, to really gain that experience that they need um, that can be transferable through all their careers, that's really important. What do you want from area businesses for your job to continue and, and for students to be able to get the most that they can uh, before they graduate from high school? So if uh, area companies who are interested um, in hiring our students, either as an intern or a youth apprentice, uh, we definitely welcome those to uh, contact us. Um, they can even help out with our mock interviews that we do all in the high schools. So it's just to really start to get involved with our, our, our students. So the job fair is on the 13th, but plenty of more ways yes. that uh, businesses yes. and families can take part in this partnership. Yes. Thanks so much for coming Thank in, Tamara. Thank you Tamara. so much for having me. You can find more information on our website about this specific job fair, but also if you want to reach out to uh, Tamara Coleman, the internship coordinator for the district. We also have her information on our website. Just head to tmj4.com.